I want to make a game that looks really good, but I'm not very good at traditional art. Is there a way I can make my game look really good without having to spend years studying art first? And that's how you get a short hike, one of the best looking indie games of all time where the dev said that due to a lack of art skills, he came up with this style where he made characters and terrain out of simple shapes, pixelated them, and sampled a picture of Canada in fall to create a color scheme. I'm going to do this game jam. I want to make a nice looking game for it, but I only have two days and most of that time will go towards programming. Is there a way I can make my game look good without having to spend a bunch of time on art? And that's how you get Thomas Was Alone, one of the most successful indie games of all time, and its art is just a bunch of rectangles with some lighting effects. This is what I call art styles born from necessity, or just art style by necessity, a process in which solo game developers create a unique art style to get around a lack of skill and or time. And these are by far my favorite art styles in games. The most common expression of this in 2D is of course pixel art. Generally, beginner artists tend to make the mistake of getting caught up in the details at the cost of the overall structure of their art. Unlike a pencil though, pixel art forces you to focus on the overall shapes and structures with very little focus on detail work. This is why for so many beginner artists, their pixel art is way better than their pencil art. And then for experienced artists, pixel art is great because the abstraction allows them to make nice looking art way quicker and then they can have a lot more assets in their game compared to if their game has a highly detailed style. The same is true in 3D with low poly art. Whether it's polygonated, flat colors, or retro style 3D, these styles are much easier for beginners to make quality art in, and also much faster for experienced artists to make while still looking great in games. These are some overall trends I've noticed, but of course individual developers have their own unique styles on top of this. So I decided to ask a couple of my game dev friends what their styles are. First off, Salman Shuri. He showed me the art process for his game Tap Tricks. Start with a basic level block out using squares and circles, and a couple of hand-drawn sprites for the player. Add thick outlines and drop shadows on everything with a basic tiling pattern for the background. Add juice by putting in particle effects, squash and stretch on the player character, and messing with camera movements. Finally, bring it all together by creating a color scheme using a palette generator tool, and add some environment art and gradients. Two things he emphasized were his animation process and camera use. Having squash and stretch and tweening the color, size, position of characters can make them look very organic without him having to draw many unique animation frames. And then camera use can also really help sell movement by using zooms, screen shakes, and short freeze frames. This style also works great for UI and for 3D. Next up, Adam Pipe. Adam's had a lot of different styles over the years, starting with pixel art, then sock pop inspired 3D, then retro style 3D with lots of VHS style post-processing, and finally cut out pictures mixed with 3D. He gave me a full list of his game art tricks, here are some of them. Lower the game resolution, disable anti-aliasing, make everything crunchy, use a cooler aspect ratio like 3-4, have one main material or post-processing shader that makes everything the same style like a PSX shader, focus on contrast with no specular lighting, use textures that already have light in them, have a main light with hard shadows, and use point lights to give dynamics to areas in shadow. Only use one font, don't spend more than an hour on any individual asset, less if you can. Here's the full list of tips if you want to read it over. Finally, I'll talk about my game's art styles. For 3D, I do a lot of stencil painting. I find interesting images online and paint them directly onto models to get really organic looking textures. Once I'm done, I bring the textures into Krita, duplicate the layer, apply the sharpen filter, set the layer to be soft light, and then downscale everything using nearest neighbor. This makes textures look really crisp and juicy, and this is what I did for all of the monsters in Rot Flesh. For 2D, I draw basic blob silhouettes in white, then combine and tint them in engine to create different creatures. Then I add drop shadows to them to make them feel more connected to the world. This is how I did all of the monsters in Endoparasitic. For animations, I really like using IK animations for characters as it lets you have really dynamic and solid feeling movements that react to what you're doing in the game. Also, in the past for my game The Yes Thou, I did rotoscoped animations by recording 3D animations in Mixamo and then drawing over them. For environment art, I like to have really simple tile sets. For floors, I'll just have a couple different tiles and have one as the main tile that's displayed the most and one as sort of a detail tile that's just randomly displayed at different points to make the levels feel more organic. And for walls, I'll just have one simple tile set and layer it to create a pseudo 3D effect. Finally, rendering the game at a low resolution abstracts everything and hides imperfections while also giving some nice texture. Though recently I've started experimenting with using Voronoi filtering instead to achieve a similar but more organic effect. 
If you'd like to learn more about how I make art for my games, I just released a new art course where I go more in depth on the full process of how I make art with these techniques. There's a link in the description along with links to my old art courses. I have a retro 3D one and a flat color 3D one. Thank you for watching and if you have a cool art trick that you use in your games, please leave a comment talking about it.